Welcome student. Today we are going to discuss regarding vitamin E alpha tocopherol. Tocopherol have a big series alpha, beta, gamma, theta, delta. But among them we are going to discuss alpha tocopherol. I am Dr. Devang R. Pandya, Department of Chemistry, Sanjeevas College Autonomous, Ahmedabad. Vitamin E alpha tocopherol is a group of fat soluble compounds collectively called alpha tocopherols sorry collectively called tocopherols these are required by many species for normal reproduction the greek word tocos means childbirth and pharos means to bear so during childbirth whatever uh, the things mother need to bear for that word this uh, what it marks that is tocopherols two general types of tocopherols occurs in nature these includes methyl substituted tocols and methyl substituted tocotrienols then alpha beta gamma theta zeta and eta these are the symbols alpha beta gamma theta eta and zeta tocopherols belong to the tocol series that is this one tocol series this uh, zeta and eta tocopherols belongs to tocotrienol series that is the another one the tocopherols have a characteristic ultraviolet absorption maximum in the range of 293 and 298 nanometer. These are sensitive to oxygen and act as effective antioxidants. Antioxidant power is the reverse of vitamin action and uh, yet this vitamin E will going to demonstrate antioxidant property. You know that uh, in the introduction itself I have told you what uh, is the role of antioxidants. They can neutralize the free radical by giving up one electron so that the free radical which have unpaired electron get paired up and that way we can neutralize the free radical which can damage the cell and can alter in the dna of a healthy cell and can cause cancer uh, heart problems and other deadly diseases alpha tocopherols is the most potent tocopherol and considered as vitamin E in a proper means. The physical property of alpha tocopherol molecular formula C29H50O2 boiling point ranging between 200 to 220 degrees centigrade IUPAC nomenclature 3,4 dihydro 2,5,7,8 tetramethyl 2,4,8 12 trimethyl tetradecyl decyl 2H1 benzopyrene. So it's a pyrene skeleton, benzopyrene skeleton in it. UV value IR and MR would be this one. Now, occurrence of vitamin E that is alpha, alpha tocopherol. Vitamin E uh, group occurs predominantly in plant material, especially the maize and dry fruits. The richest source is a wheat germ oil, which has a very high contents of alpha and beta tocopherols. Then cotton seed oil, corn oil and palm oil contains predominantly alpha tocopherols in it. Now isolation of vitamin E alpha tocopherol. Wheat germs are pressed to collect the oil. The oil is subjected to chromo chromatographic absorption technique to separate vitamin E from other compound. 
final purification is achieved by precipitation as crystalline allophanate that is a salt of uh, ester of allophanic acid is going to be separated out the different factors of the vitamin e group are separated by fractional distillation uh, crystallization so that way we can isolate vitamin e from alpha tocopherol Now structural elucidation of vitamin E alpha tocopherol. Franz Holz established the chemical structure of alpha tocopherol in 1938. Alpha tocopherol, tocopherol has an empirical formula C29H50O2. The formation of an allotrope, uh, allophanate, and other indicated. Uh, the presence of uh, free hydroxyl group in this compound that is this free hydroxyl group which is there in the compound the phenolic character of this hydroxyl group because you can see that it is attached with the aromatic ring so this hydroxyl group would be a phenolic in nature so that phenolic character of hydroxyl group was shown by the ultraviolet spectrum Pyrolysis gave duroquinol that is structure 12.28 and heated with hydroiodic acid gave uh, cycumenol that is 12.29 indicated the presence of uh, duroquinol moiety in the structure. So here you can see that this is alpha tocopherol structure and on heating 365 degrees centigrade you are going to get duroquinol. And on treating with hydroidic acid, you can get cycumenol. And these two reactions indicate the presence of duroquinol moiety in the compound. This one, duroquinol moiety present in the compound. Alpha tocopherol gave dimethyl malic anhydride, that is 12.30, diacetyl. That is 12.31 aceton, 12.32 a C21 lecton, 12.33 and a C18 ketone, 12.34 and C16 acid is going to be obtained from alpha tocopherol. So these are the reactions which are going to give us this different fragmentation of the compound. Alpha tocopherol on oxidation with uh, chromic oxide will going to gives us 12.30 that is diacetyl uh, sorry malic anhydride malic anhydride then we'll going to get diacetyl uh, component then we have acetone then uh, again c21 lecton c18 lecton and c16 carboxylic acid is going to be obtained so this different fragmentation is done on oxidation with uh, chromic oxide uh, for the, uh, uh, from alpha tocopherol, we're going to get this different fragmentation. The optically active lecton was shown to be derived from uh, gamma hydroxy uh, acid as it lectonizes easily. The tertiary nature of the hydroxyl group was proved as the hydroxyl group could neither be oxidized nor esterified. Uh, the 16 acid that is 12.35 showed the presence of three methyl groups in the side chain. The chromic acid oxidation indicated the structure of uh, aliphatic side chain present into the compound. The presence of a chromin ring structure was proved by controlled oxidation with silver nitrate. This yielded a yellow quinone that is 12.36 which was re reduced to quinol 12.37 the phenolic hydroxyl groups in 12.37 was were esterified while the remaining al aliphatic hydroxyl group was shown to be tertiary in nature in the oxidation and esterification reaction the tertiary nature of the hydroxyl group ruled out a 
Kumarin structure that is 12.38 as the Kumarin structure would have yielded a secondary hydroxyl group. So here you can see that uh, uh, alpha tocopherol treating with AgNO3 will going to get uh, uh, a yellow quinol and that yellow quinone reduced in presence of H2PT will going to get this uh, quinol and uh, phenolic hydroxyl group where esterified over here will going to gives us this kumarin kind of structure vitamin e are biosynthesized only in plant and not in animal organisms however nothing is definite and definitely known about the biogenesis of the alpha tocopherol biochemical function and clinical significance of alpha tocopherol the major biochemical function of tocopherols in vitro system seems to be their antioxidant activity uh, they delay the oxidation of lipids to lipid peroxides which may cause an irreversible inhibition of the sensitive mitochondrial uh, system the antioxidant neutralize the free radicals catalyzing the peroxide formation the in vitro functions appear to be more complex and the symptoms of vitamin E deficiency vary, vary from one animal to another. In humans, an increased tendency to hemolysis is observed. No untoward effect of hypervitaminosis have been reported yet and therefore you can have proper intact of vitamin E to prevent yourself from dermatological any deficiency a convenient assay produce this is the detection of alpha vitamin e a convenient assay produce procedure is the oxidation of vitamin e on heating with alcoholic nitric acid a red color is produced this color is estimated as a uh, at a wavelength of uh, 450 to 520 mu in a colorimeter the use of filters to limit the wave band is recommended. Synthesis of vitamin E alpha tocopherol. Miller and co workers have developed a high yielding root for the synthesis of alpha tocopherol here alpha symbol you need to understand a stands for alpha so sometime if somebody will ask you give miller's synthesis for vitamin then you need to go for vitamin e that is alpha tocopherol 235 trimethyl quinone that is structure 12.39 was heated with uh, phytyl diphenyl phosphite that is 12.40 to yield a alpha tocopherol that is 12.26 very simple uh, synthesis is there so we have quinone and that is treated with this uh, phosphite derivative will going to get alpha tocopherol thank you for uh, listening very unwaringly and I would like to decode Abdul Kalam's statement. A door is much smaller compared to the house. Lock is much lock. A lock is much smaller compared to the door. A key is even the smallest of all, but a key can open entire house. So be a key, open your mind, and learn everything. Just a small thought of solution can solve major problems. Be safe. Be healthy. Thank you very much.